so in our last video we have seen that what is a scope what is data binding what is expression in angular js so in this video we will see the example of scope data binding and expressions so let's go for an example first of all let's move to this folder angular js example i have uh, written a folder session 2 example 2 right now it's blank because we have no, not written any code inside this file so we will open this file in notepad plus plus and here is an predefined structure which you can see for the sake of uh, time we have uh, written it already that will not take much time writing these things so here what you can see that uh, the html document add title and a script the file which we need to input in our html in order to use angular js and here we will write the piece of code our model code and inside the body we will write the view code so this session would be basically regarding scope angular expression and data binding so first of all let's start with ng app ng app is equal to say test ng controller equal to my app now it's done let's move to script part and define our module like this where demo is equal to angular dot module and inside this braces you will write inside the parenthesis your module name that is test this name i will write here test and a blank error that will receive any uh, services which we will use in future that we will see in later chapters so first of all you should know that this is my syntax for declaring any module for your angular js where your variable name is equal to angular dot module and your module name and the blank array okay inside the parenthesis and make sure that this name must be equal to this name the name which you used in ng app so again you can see here that here is ng controller whose name is my app so i'm going to define ng controller for this module like this demo dot controller inside this controller name that is my app comma function here i will pass scope here i will open close curly braces so this is my structure for angular controller so this is my controller name and this is the function of controller and here it takes some parameter which is a scope if you will not uh, define this parameter it will not understand what what is the scope and where it came from okay so for that reason it's a syntax we need to write this in this way so let's uh, initialize some variable so in angular we need to write scope whenever we need to declare any variable it's not like uh, where xx no so how to write it it should be like dollar scope dot your variable name suppose uh, name is equal to kolkata okay so here what i have done i have initialized this variable with kolkata so now i will use this scope so this is my scope what i have discussed in my tutorial of scope and data binding so this is the scope scope variable that's name is name so inside my view i will use this variable to display the kolkata so how to do that just take any tag like uh, p tag and write uh, hello welcome to name so this is my scope we, we do not need to write it like this this is wrong so we will write only the name so when i will running this uh, application it will give me output like hello welcome to name let's make it bold now run this ex example launch in chrome so here you can see that hello welcome to kolkata so this is my scope this is my controller and this is my module this is angular module this is my controller and this is my 
angular view so this part is your module and this is your controller and this is your view in short the whole thing is view but let's assume this is my view so this is your scope you can declare as much scope as you want as you require here i can write another scope say scope dot temperature is equal to 45 degree so i want to display this also in my view so what i will do i will simply write this and write today's temperature is so this is my angular expression which is written inside the curly braces it could be written like this any tag within that tag you write ng bind is equal to your variable name that is temperature so let's do in this way using ng bind and now run this application so here you can see that hello welcome to kolkata today's temperature is 45 degree so here we are using ng bind instead of curly braces this could be done by using curly braces but for the sake of giving you an example regarding ng bind we have used this ng bind inside our paragraph this was an example where you can see how a scope is used how expressions are declared how exceptions expressions are written and how ng bind done so let's see how it is achieving two way binding as i have told you that anglo js provides a functionality of two way data binding so how to do that in your program let have an input tag type is equal to text let's define a model ng model is equal to city and now in order to use this variable you should initialize it this inside your controller like cop dot city is equal to london now write welcome to city let's run this program so here you can see that uh, it is uh, binded in my input tag and it is showing that london inside that input tag and in next line you can see that uh, welcome to london is displayed so if you will do any changes in this input tag this will be reflected in your city scope that is london so let's write london and mumbai so here you see it is automatically updated so this way angular js provides two way data binding so if you will see the value of scope that is city is not london now it became london and mumbai because it's a two way data binding whatever changes you will do in here it will be reflected in your model so friends we have learned that uh, what is a scope what is data binding what is expressions in angular js and also we have seen the example of uh, scope data binding with expressions in our next session we will see what is directive and what are the types of directives in angular js